Friends, family, lovers of food everywhere. We are driving in Society Hill, which is a neighborhood in Center City, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are heading to Puyero Venezuelan Flavor, which is a Venezuelan restaurant that was started by two brothers and their families. And they serve traditional Venezuelan fare like patacones, which are like sandwiches where the outside are fried plantains instead of bread. Or arepas, where the outside are these corn cakes. The Venezuelans, it seems, like to do things their own way. We're gonna head over there now and try some of these delicious and inventive sandwiches. To your knowledge, is there a big Venezuelan population in Philadelphia? I now notice that there is a larger Venezuelan population than what I originally Since saw. Since you opened the restaurant? Yes, exactly. Having the restaurant and having familiar traditional foods has sort of brought the community, attracted it yes. in a way. Yes. For us, it's very important not only to showcase our food, it's also to showcase our culture. Yeah, we try to pretty much share as much as we can and be able to tell the story as Venezuelans. You're getting a first-hand experience of what we are, who we are, what we do, the way we act and all that. And that's very important for us here at Puyero. Of course. Who, who came up with the recipes? It's an entire team. The recipes were my wife, Manuela, with Venezuelan Chef. They worked together and created the recipe. And Simon, my brother, we work as a team. You have some very interesting, colorful sayings here on the wall. Why don't we start with a little language lesson here? So this one right here, más peligroso que barbero con hipo. It's more dangerous than a barber with hiccups. That's dangerous. It is. Especially if he's shaving you. The thing with the sayings is that Venezuelans will never tell you it's dangerous. They're gonna make up something to explain why they think it's dangerous. They're gonna say it's more dangerous than barber with hiccups. They're not just gonna say what they mean. They're gonna elaborate and add some color to it. We've then got mas hambre que piojo en peluche. I'm hungrier than to take on a teddy bear. That's one of my favorites. Oh, because the, the teddy bear is not real. Exactly. We've got gozando. Un pullero. Un pullero. And the name of the restaurant? Is Pullero, pullero. Venezuelan flavor. And so what does that mean? Pullero is actually Venezuelan slang, and uh, it is only used as gozando un pullero, which means having a lot of fun. It goes back to the fact that in Venezuela, dimes used to be called pullas. So if you had a lot of dimes, you had a pullero, a lot of them, and then you can, as a kid, have a ton of fun. I love it. That sounds great. I'm hungrier than a tick on a teddy bear. Let's go. So until four, we have the lunch special, and you can make any of the items into a combo, and you can add a side and a drink, and that will be $11.99 plus tax. Get out of town. What a deal. Let's say you have an arepa, you can have an arepa, a side, and a drink. I will do that, but then I will also add the patacón. Okay. Add, would the tequeños be a side? Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. Probably what I don't get with the arepa, I'll get on the patacón. Okay. So let's do the reina. The reina pipián. So that's chicken avocado salad? That sounds great. Okay. And then I will also have... The patacón, okay. With the, the, the pabellón, the shredded beef. The shredded beef? Yeah. Okay. How long have you been married? Uh, seven years. What is the secret? to a successful marriage? Mm, I don't know, try to be funny all the time. Try to be funny all the time. Even if you're fighting, just put a joke in there and the fight is over. That's a good piece of advice. Use humor. Humor is the, is the secret to a successful marriage. We'll start at the beginning. We'll start with the appetizers. These are the tequeños. This is the dough wrapped around that white cheese and deep fried. So I'm just gonna take a bite out of this. This is the tequeño. It's good. It's hard to argue with fried cheese. You've got kind of like that nice juicy squeak of a cheese curd. Very dense, very salty, which I love. I find it delightful. And now we have the mandoca. Sort of like a little donut. It's also good. This is a nice sweet savory combination because it's that corn flour, but it also has a plantain flavor. And then you've got the crema, this sort of like dairy sourness. So that gives it a nice salty sour kick to go along with this dense, bready sweetness. I can get on board with this. Now that we've dispensed with our appetizers, let's move on to the main course. 
This, of course, is our patacon. And they recommended we eat this with a knife and a fork just because it, it does look like it would get a little bit messy. Inside here we have what approximates the national dish of Venezuela, the pabellón, which is that shredded beef cooked in various herbs and spices, slowly stewed. We're gonna have tomato, onion in there as well. And I have to say, this looks really good. This looks like a big, messy stew. I'm gonna try to get a bite of the outer plantain. This is a patacón. Mmm. This is super good. Meat, it's just sort of like stewing until it is just sort of dissolving, covered in this salty white cheese. We've got this green creamy sauce with parsley and cilantro to sort of give it that nice herbalness. The beef itself, tender, juicy, vaguely sweet. It's actually sweeter than maybe I anticipated it would be, which is interesting because the plantain also lends a certain amount of sweetness that goes along with this very juicy, hearty, shredded beef situation. We've got some black beans in here too, which adds some nice texture and some nice earthiness. This is really interesting. I, when I saw that the plantains weren't like fried to a crisp, I was sort of skeptical because I, I anticipated this being like a sandwich. And now that it's not, I don't know, I kind of like it. That's tasty. Can I change the name of this, sh this show to That's Tasty? Super delicious. But now, what we've all been waiting for, the arepa. It's simple and straightforward, yet intriguing and delicious, like so many of the things we do here in Dining on a Dime. This sandwich is called the Reina Pepiana, named after Miss Universe, 1955. Her name was Susana. And what she loved, this is named after her. This is avocado shredded chicken. And they also top it here with some fried plantain slices and then Gouda cheese. And so you've got this traditional Dutch cow's milk, smoky cheese. And there is a lot of Dutch influence in that area. Venezuela, just 20 minute flight from ABC Islands, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao. Mmm. This is messy but delicious. I'm gonna open it up for you just so you can sort of see what's going on here. This is more of a straightforward sandwich. It's like plantain chicken avocado mixture. Would not have been like the first thing to occur to me, but now that I'm tasting it, it totally works. This is good. This is better. I like this more. I hope that's not too controversial, but I really do love this patacon. There's just a lot more going on flavor-wise. I think the powerful saltiness of that shredded beef balances more, whereas there's not quite that extreme balance of flavors with the arepa. Anyhow, I personally like this patacon a lot, and I would eat this all the time. Final thoughts. Venezuelan cuisine. It's simple, it's delicious, it works extremely well. And I really like what Gil and his brother are doing here. They're in Philadelphia where, and, you know, it sounded like there wasn't a particularly strong or vocal Venezuelan population, but I think their goal, if I was understanding Gil correctly, is just create like a mini home to sort of welcome people from that culture in. Having a colorful environment, local slang, local sayings. It's really nice to have something like this in the community to welcome Venezuelan people with food and flavors that they love and that they are familiar with. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from Puyero, Venezuelan Flavor in Society Hill in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. Now Pellin can eat the food. Pellin was eating the food before I was done. Hit that like. <laughs>